Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, the title of this video is probably going to be something like Let the uh, Fear Mongering Regarding the Eclipse Coming April 8th. Let it go to 10 out of 10 from now until the eclipse. I'm just here to remind you uh, the fear mongering uh, is ridiculous. It's playing into exactly what the Not Milk wants. There are channels even uh, over 100,000 subscribers um, talking about the fear associated with the eclipse and don't prepare food. Um, don't eat food that's exposed in any way to the eclipse. Uh, yo out picnicking and you open your sandwich, even if it's not totality, even if it's just penumbra. Oh, your sandwich is ruined. Come on. This is ridiculous. Guys, um, this re absolutely relates to part two, the work. Now, put your inner knowing 10 out of 10. Do you, do you think the not milk would want you to fear the eclipse? What does your inner knowing tell you? Of course it does in some way. The eclipse is a natural part of this reality construct that has always been part of this reality construct to remind, in my opinion, what it is to remind real spiritual beings that this place isn't very real. Now, there's a lot of other reminders in the, you could say maybe it was that seven years of our own tribulation between the eclipses. Of course, it, Carbondale is the city that's in the path, the X over the United States of the 2017 eclipse and the 2024 uh, eclipse in April 8th, uh, just a few days from now. Carbondale, carbon, the 666, six, uh, six on the periodic table is carbon. Carbon comprises the human. Come on, th this, is rid this reality has, be has become ridiculous. So um, the not milk wants you terrified in some way of the eclipse. Guys, if you're in any way not checked out of YouTube videos, if, if this, I appreciate you being here. Some people are here and they're really not on BitChute. They're not on any any other type of YouTube channels and I appreciate that. But if you're in any way uh, roaming around the internet, you have seen uh, probably the fear mongering start regarding the eclipse. Even Greg, who's checked out, you know, my buddy Greg, who's, he's checked out of the hardcore, you could say, truth research for several personal reasons. He just had to get away from it. And he knows he can always call me. You know, we we talk sometimes almost every day for at least a few minutes. Um, you know, we, we it's probably not three days or four days if I, you know, a, a length of stretch that I don't talk to Greg. So he knows he can bounce something off me. But even he will sometimes, you know, maybe when he's with his relatives, a little bit too much Fox News, a little too, too many YouTube feeds. And he'll say, things to me about um, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, and even he can get sucked in. Um, I've noticed with Greg that when he when he exited Truth Research, he's like, Matt, it's, it's too dark. I have my own issues. I can always talk to you. I'm exiting. But then he's he doesn't sit there and watch the news, but those types of regular news stories that I'm not in anywhere aware of seem to find Greg, and then he'll bounce them off me. And usually, we, as usual, we come to the conclusion that it's complete and utter nonsense, whatever the news is presenting, and in most cases, a fabrication of some kind. Excuse me. I didn't look at the, the key bridge and the incident at the bridge. I told you, I didn't look at it for more than 30 seconds. And I won't look at it, and I haven't. But I said at the very beginning of it, just like I've said on all the other events, going back to uh, Kobe the basketball player, there won't be a major event in this world that is not riddled with conspiracy. Even it's, it's getting so bad that even natural events are, are uh, encompassing conspiracy, which is how does that even work, right? Well, it, it doesn't work in a real world. It works in a fake world. Uh, Khan, who gave us that uh, that great little video in his, his um, the, the story he, he described as to how strange the people in Turkey acted just a week or so, or two weeks after one of the largest earthquake earthquakes, not in Turkish history, in world history, they started becoming very interested in the elections when they just saw friends almost days earlier buried in rubble, like people are on some sort of strange download. He even 
sent me some things where there was a, you know, again, let's just say something strange, a few unnatural elements, um, or, or that the, the earthquake happened, of course, but it left a, mar- a marker uh, that was very, very strange that you could basically, let's just say, make a conspiracy video about. The eclipse, um, well, that's got to be a natural phenomenon in this reality, right? Whatever you believe it to be. But, at, you know, at, where does it cross Carbondale and the, the names of the cities along its path? Well, I think it's, you know, it would be, um, some people would say, well, that's a, a non-organic uh, phenomenon associated with the eclipse. Well, not really. I mean, it, the, the eclipse likely didn't choose to go across the strange, uh, the, the path of the eclipse didn't choose to go across the strange names of the towns or there's biblical references. I, you know, there's people have sent me links. I don't look at this horse shit. I just don't do it anymore. It's more likely, of course, that what it tells me is when they named the towns, whenever that was, um, they knew the path of the eclipse that would be coming. You say, well, how would they, how would they have the ability to do that 140 to 160 or so years ago? Well, you know, the 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 not Nilk has had a lot of abilities or creepy buttons and levers for a very long time. So anyway, let's not get too into the weeds. Um, excuse me, guys. <coughs> See, I knew I knew to remove the mic, but we always do that. Hillary Clinton did not know to remove the mic. I'm not um, one of the uh, most accomplished speakers in front of crowds. Uh, she is, but she didn't know to remove the mic. She just figured she'd cough right into it. That wouldn't be a... Remember that fake script <laughs> going into the election? Um, for, okay, Matt, the, 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 the frequencies around the eclipse are trying to draw you into the weeds. Yeah, that, I want to talk about the eclipse related to part two. First off, guys, um, anything of fear-mongering regarding the eclipse, ridiculous. It's a natural part of this reality system, this fake reality system, this illusory, illusory construct that we live in. Um, if it is negative, you make it negative. If you believe it to be negative, it probably is negative for you. If you believe it to be a wonder of this reality, nothing to fear, what, what does your inner knowing tell you? That you're a victim of it, and you need to you need to analyze it to see what it will do to you, or does your inner knowing tell you that you decide if it's if it's negative or positive? That you you are ultimately the, the decider. What does your inner knowing tell you? Yeah, uh, if it if it can if these videos can put you in a state of fear, then it's not you're not a victim of it, and it's 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 powerful. It, you're making it what it is. It, it's that simple. That's the way this entire reality works. So, um, in terms of the, you know, I do believe, um, I don't really know how to talk about this, but let's just go back in time when we, before the, there was, uh, you know, the, the, the astrologers talked about the Jupiter to Saturn return or the switching of places roughly every 20 years as to which, uh, planet in, in, in astrological terms will, will have more influence, put it that way. And some, it seems like for 20 years, I'm not an astrology expert, but I've watched enough Levette videos and other things, but, you know, it interests me, but uh, up, up until a point. So now um, Saturn is now <clears throat> back in control. Of, well, I mean, you know, I don't notice that when Saturn flip-flops with Jupiter, I don't, you know, it's still not doing the same bullshit. I don't notice no difference. But anyway, um, the point is, um, we, we at right about that time before the flip flopping of the Saturn return, we just got a sense because of what was happening around us, our friends and family, and that we talked about. Remember the, the old guard that was here. The cement is 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 still a little wet, but it is about to harden, almost like whether you can see through this reality or not, or see truth. And we talked about um, proclaiming a declaration of independence, but then we saw the word magic in that—the declaration of in a state of being in dependence. So we, we, but we talked about basically, look, whatever this, there was this weird inflection point, whether you were big on astrology or not, Saturn and Jupiter return, that you could just forget the astrology, you just look around your family and friends and be like, they're, they're being fooled in terms of everything this reality is presenting. And it seems like, you know, okay, we're on the right side 
of the line of having woken up and having been able to see through it. But it was like the cement was hardening, right? And it had, and it, and it, like it did harden. It seemed like we were right about that. Those that can see through it, see through it, and those that don't, don't. And do they have a chance of ever coming out of it? Yeah, like almost no, no. I mean, if there will be people that wake up just because it is their their time to see through it. But like my friend Tony, for example, I don't expect him. He will never come around and see uh, what I see, and he, what he what I see to him is insane, and to him I'll never come back into the real world. I'll never go back onto Captain Steubing's ship. I've rowed off of it, as you have, in the lifeboat. So, But it, this is another one of the, these times, in my opinion, this eclipse. Um, people related the seven years between the, the, the great American eclipses, 2017, and now to some sort of seven-year tribulation. There's something to that. There is not, not technically the tribulation in biblical terms that should have been Oh, this hellish period. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't hellish in biblical terms, but it was like it's like reality giving everybody like this strange time, or maybe like like it's almost like one last time to wake up to it, to see through the fake reality, to see through the nonsense. And it's almost like okay, April eighth, the next eclipse. It's like another cement hardening period. And Matt, because there was one before, it seemed like, now there's this, that implies there will be other milestones in the future. Yeah, I don't think it's like the end-all, be-all, but it's like just one of those moments. It's almost like reality, uh, with, a, with a bullhorn, said, um, you know, between the eclipses, we're going to put some fake-ass shit out. If you can't see through this horse shit, in the seven, between the seven-year period and the amount of crap and nonsense we're going to throw at you, then you probably will never be able to see through it, you sons of bitches. It's like it with a, the seven-year period, like a bullhorn of all the bullshit it threw at us. It's like it had planned it. You know, if you can't see, they're going to throw a lot of shit at you between the seven years between the eclipses. And a lot of it is just ridiculous nonsense that anybody should be able to see through. If you can't see through this, uh, we, you know, we'll see you in the next lifetime. Can't help you. Higher self says, well, that, that, that aspect of us ain't getting it done. They ain't getting it done. Oh, boy. Are we stuck? Hey, for, for Red, Red, just like the, remember the cartoons, uh, the cartoon sheepdog checking in against the wolf. Morning, Sam. <laughs> Morning, Red, or whatever. Uh, you and Matt, are you in those realities? Not Matt, we're out. But uh, Fred, are you in those reality systems for another Another lifetime, yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like we got we beat those my incarnations down there. Are all fooled. They're all stupid sons of bitches. Uh, look, may, you know, they're not doomed, but they're just not. You know, the people around us—they're not getting it done. They're not getting it done this time around. And and again, between this, the eclipses, the reality like screamed, "I'm going to throw so much ridiculous, fake ass horse shit at you. Anybody should be able to see through it." So in a way, you know, this little weird ass, I'll call it a tribulation, whatever, between the eclipses was, from our perspective, was the greatest thing of all time. It's the best news of all time. But it is like a milestone, like the cement, again, okay, our cement has hardened into the positive, but it's, you feel like, it's almost like the end of that, that era, the, the eclipse to eclipse, and in between was some ridiculous fake ass shit that anybody <laughs> should be able to see through. I mean, it, you feel, you just, okay. So guys, because it is, it is, I'm not a victim of no eclipse or anything else. You know, that I'll determine if it's positive or negative, but you feel that eh, there's something there. We are in this reality. In a way, we're not, we are, we have to work with the reality. We're not completely masters of it. I can't go stand before a tidal wave and say, oh, I'm master of this reality. This tidal wave can't touch me here. I can't go out, you know, and say, oh, rip the biggest rip current in, on the Ocean City board, you know, beaches down in New Jersey. I'm just going to go swim in it, and I'm the king of this reality. No, we are. We're in the body, and, you know, things here can get you. You can't just step off a cliff or, you know. So so this eclipse, you know, is, I'm sure, in terms of people that are in tune to it, a formidable energy. But it's not, it can't, like, be all the people say it's dark, and no, don't, if you don't go out into it, and don't even look at it, and all these fear videos that are popping up, and one I've, I, you know, I just shook my head like, don't, if you have food out, you must throw it out, I mean, come on, I think I'm gonna have a big old fat hot dog, big put chili, we used to call them, at, we used to go to the Unimart at Penn State after drinking a few beers 
at about 1.30 to 2 in the morning. And we used to, let's get death dogs. We used to call them death dogs. You go into the Unimart, which is like 7-Eleven or Wawa convenience store. The hot dogs have been rolling around for who knows how long. Days. Who knows how they were good. But then there was a big silver canister of chili meat. And who knows how long that chili meat had been in there. Because the people maintaining the store are just college kids that don't give a shit. We didn't care. You know, we never got us sick. We had a big thing of chili meat. The top was a little crusty. Look, they've been sitting in there for days. Death, death dogs at 1.30, 2, 2 in the morning after um, a more, a few, one or two beers? No, more. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to have, I'm going to, I'm going to have, um, I'm not going to, we'll have hot dogs. I don't think death dogs would be the good thing to be have during the eclipse. But a bot, I'm talking about hot dogs. Okay. No banner ad or being referred to better help or anything like that. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to open up. I mean, look, I'm respectful of, of its energy. Okay. Whatever that means. Come on. The damn monitor just goes, um, it's very early here. I could not sleep. It's been rainy, so it's the sun's not exactly popping out. Um, but guys, come on. It, it is as as in terms of I can't go out and stand in front of the tidal wave and say, "Oh, it doesn't affect me." That's a physical thing. But in terms of spiritual things or energetic things, we, yeah, we are in control. We we make it good or bad. If you want to run from it, then you're giving it exactly what it wants. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to go out and def- I'm, if I go out and try to defy it, then I'm giving it power. I'm, oh, I'm going to stand in front of you, Eclipse. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid. Then that's giving it some sort of power by standing up to it. But, but I'm just going to do nothing. I'm going to just go about my day. And, I'm gonna, you know, it's interesting to me. I'm like, oh, it's dimming outside. I might look at it. I'm allowed to look at it. Oh, or I'm going to go defy it. No, just go about your day. But, but there is like a cement, another milestone of the cement hardening. So here's what I'm going to do. This is related to part two, the work and the way wor- worry about your self activities. Um, I'm going to be as positive as possible and literally work at it up until the moment of the eclipse. If it's a point where I can harden some cement and then take that into the next phase of life or reality, I'm going to do these things. I'm going to use, use the eclipse, so use the energies, it's not negative, use it yourself. Um, Overall, guys, in general, I'm a negative person. Now, I've come leaps and bounds. I mean, growing up, my teens, my 20s, 30s, always, you know, it's, it's half empty. That's just the way I was. And I'm still fighting that to a degree, but I'm, I've improved 90% or so. I was my superlatives for high school. I was labeled biggest complainer. I've told you that for the whole high school. Biggest complainer. I could get away. My dad was a teacher in the high school you know, I've told you the story, but um, the math test will be on Thursday. What? Math test? We have uh, half the people in this class have a science test, book reports. No, but make it Friday or just don't. But what? I, and I could get away with that. And they're like, Matt, math test Thursday. I would complain in front of the class. <laughs> so I got the biggest complainer. I, I yeah, I just, I, okay, I was a little negative and I'm, I'm still a little of that way. But I'm, I've, again, I've, I've gotten so much better. But I'm gonna find the, that these certain energies are coming. That certain YouTube channels are so negative. I know. I'll use them. Use them for yourself. Use them. I'm going to be re- I'm, and I'm trying this already. And um, all you have to do is go till April eighth, till X marks the spot on Carbondale. Well, I'm going to continue to try to be positive after that. But um, I mean, ridiculous little things. I'm, I mean, just I'm, I'm. I don't have a great example, guys. But. Um, this is a stupid example, but I'm trying so hard. I'm going to try so hard to do, to do what is against my nature up until this eclipse. I'm going to harden that cement. For example, sometimes in the morning, I don't have to look for my shoes or, or uh, whatever. I'm going to put it. I don't, I typically, if a t-shirt's clean, I'll put it back on. And so this morning I said, oh, the shoes and the t-shirt are right, right there next to each other. So I don't have to look for them. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, it's, that's ridiculous and that's stupid. Every little thing is going to be positive to me up until April 8th, at least. I can't keep doing this. It's work for me. It's like, you know, Akeem, every, every moment, be Akeem in coming to America, talking to that little girl. I have a day tonight with Lisa. Isn't that wonderful? Everything is, I'm going to go to the Target. I was going to go yesterday. It's rain. Oh, you know, it's horrible. I'm not going out in this. Uh, I've got to go to the Target, get some stuff for the cats and everything like that. And I'm going to be like, um, I'm going to just, it, usually the Target is so dark, 
it's such a the feel of it that is so so dark to me it's so i just don't like being in any sort of uh like a mall situation i just the frequencies i'm going to make it i'm going to make it somehow on a positive experience if you can believe that i'm just going to work guys these these examples are horrible i know but i'm just going to work every hour at being positive just harden that cement if there is anything if there is any uh, basis for what i'm saying regarding the this eclipse or the second x marks the spot but let's say i'm wrong about everything we're wrong about everything why not why not use it the best why not try to use it the best way we can be as positive or harden the cement on the positive aspects that you want and well if, if we're wrong we're wrong well what's the what's the what's the downside that i spent a week of every moment trying to be positive well that's a great that's great training in and of itself but there's just some strange guys i'm sure you have some some similar experiences to me you know again i don't go anywhere i don't do nothing i mean you know to a, I, compared to most people i'm i'm more of a recluse whatever whatever that means but even you know so i don't let too many people into my world um and pam has you know been in my things and the few people i interact with you it's almost like they're part of this reality trying to pour stress on me trying to pile on um i don't i i would i would bet there's some things in in your life that are just like some stress trying to creep in trying to some family members trying to get you involved in this or putting this on you or want to talk about this and making you worry about this or being concerned i it's like it's almost like the reality wants that energy um taken into the eclipse will try to harden that cement on me and i'm not going to let it happen i'm not going to let it let it happen you know these people around the people that are giving me this piling this stress on around me i care for them but i've done you know in terms of helping them or i've done all that i can do i'm not gonna i've talked well i might as well just tell you guys i mean my relationship with Pam, um, it was the, uh, it's, 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 it's almost like she's, um, she's here in this reality to almost like um, pass her stress o- over to me, or her anxiety over to me. Um, there was a really incredible video put out by a YouTube channel, a woman, she just called herself Chick. I haven't seen her videos. I wish her the best. Very nice person. I'd like to see her videos again. I hope she's doing well. She went away for a while. Um, she had some great insights. She made a video that was one of the greatest videos I've ever seen about the four different types of of beings or entities here. Uh, you know, uh, generator beings. or they, they each had names. I'll try to do some research or find out about it. I'm not sure where she got the information or how much of the presentation was her own insight. But like one, you know, one being is more responsible for like generating reality, but another being is a is like a passer of energy, like a a negative passer, or almost like a vulture of energy, or I don't know what what type of being Pam would be, but it's almost like energetically, when I get next to her, and as a, and as an entity, she knows that I'm willing to take her stress. She will pass it to me, and I will take it willingly. Get concerned for her, take over that re- her responsibility, or it's a very negative uh, passing of energy. And um, I'm not going to abandon Pam in my life. I've been, you know, we we go back too long. But if there are people in your life like this, and they're not, you don't have that long-term tie or, or commitment to them, they are not for you in life. If you feel somebody, it's just every time it's a passing of negative energy or, or a passing of a stress, it's they, you will accept it, they will pass it. I don't know what type of being uh, in that chick presentation does that, but there's something to this. It's very real. And those people cut out of your life. I mean, you can sense it. Um, anyway, so there's just some things that have been the, the scales of, you know, you know, have the, the 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 frequencies are such that how do I want to put this? The volume has gone way up, pushing into this eclipse, and there's almost like you sense there's something to it. So I'm gonna I need to work hard going into it. I am not gonna accept this stress. I'm not going to accept these negative energies, and I don't. And I, I don't deal with many people. Imagine people that have, you know, they see their sister and their brother-in-law regularly, and these family members, and this, and this, and that. Put it this way: it's it's all good news, guys. If there is, if any of this is resonating with you, the stress has gone up in the last few weeks. It could be because it's leading into the eclipse. There could be something to this. It's you're in control of everything. Simply don't take it. 
just simply do the ridiculous exercise like me being positive at every turn. I'm not taking the negative energy. I whether the eclipse is positive or negative is up to me. Um, it's not just me, guys, making me and you feel better. Just talking nonsense. We we all know deep down this is the way this reality works. So just just you know we have to. I guess maybe we have to work hard until the eighth. Um, I feel that it's and in terms of the, all the fear mongering. What's going to happen? Uh, all oh, there's YouTube channels, bit shoot channels. The the fault lines are going to. All these major things are going to. You know what's going to happen? Nothing. No. Now now somebody somebody's going to record this, and if there's another bridge in bridge incident, Matt said nothing. I, if they try to pull something like a like a bridge, or I mean, I'm not talking about stuff like that. Little not milk mall events, or so that's who cares? I'm talking about the you know, there are these videos floating that major some major, you know, cataclysm regarding the eclipse and, I mean, the devil's comet. I mean, come on. You know what's going to happen? Nothing. Nothing. As usual. I mean, people predicting the end of the world for thousands of years and every single time it's been wrong. If they pull something or try to use the energies and there's a, again, I'm not, you know, like a bridge incident. It's, that's nothing, guys. I'm talking about major things, you know. And um, anyway, guys, so I'm, I'm going to work as hard as I can on these sorts of things. I'm sorry a lot of this didn't come out right, but I guess I'll just post this. And um, just, just you know, then we'll take, a, we'll take a little break after the eclipse. I'm not going to face it down. I'm not going to run from it. I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to feed my cats. I'm going to butter some bricks with, <laughs> with some cement or whatever. You're just like, oh, it's the eclipse. Oh, it's, like, oh, it's kind of cool. It'll be a little dark here in Pennsylvania, a little penumbra, a little dimming. Oh, okay. Well, you, well, you got food out. Oh, good. I'll shove it in my mouth. I'll do, I'm not going to be like um, Belushi and Animal House. Don't know much about his... Uh, he's just shoving burgers in his mouth. I'm just going to just do, do nothing except try to clean out, you know, before the eclipse... Um, try to capitalize on the energy. Be as positive as you can. Do what you need to do for yourself. Clean out the negative that's trying to pile on you. Um, anyway, all right, guys. I'll I'll be back uh, tomorrow uh, probably, and I'll see you soon. See you soon. <laughs>